A little bit earlier here in the Sky Dome after camp practice, I had a chance to talk with backup quarterback Derek Anderson of the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, talk about the camp here so far for you and Flagstaff and the battle between you and Matt, obviously, for the for the number one role of quarterback. Well, I just, you know, trying to get adjusted to the new system and, you know, come in and make plays and continue to make strides every single day. And then, uh, you know, if I progress, we'll see where everything works out. But, you know, we're just trying to push him and, and make him better and make each other better. How exciting is it for you going into a camp with a new playbook, a new team, a whole new dynamic, a new place where you're practicing? What's that like? It's great. Uh, I was ready for a change, and uh, I appreciate everybody here. It's been, it's been awesome, and it's nice to, nice to be here and be, be a little closer to home, too. You remember playing against the Northern Arizona University Lumberjacks, don't you? Go, go back to your memory book and, re and, and recall that game just a bit. It was back in the day. It was, uh, I think it was my freshman year. I think we scored a lot of points, and I think it scored not too many, but it was a long time ago, like 10 years ago almost. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like a long time. Real quickly, how do you like Camp and Flagstaff? How do you like the facilities here in, in training at NAU? Uh, it's, it's nice. Other than the rain, everything else is pretty nice, and obviously you can't beat the weather right now when it's 75. How do you like uh, the camp here in Flagstaff coming up to altitude, the, the cooler weather, getting out of the valley, the rain, the moisture? What's that like? Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, you know, being down in Phoenix when it's 110, 115 all the time and it's hot and then being able to come here and it's, it's nice weather. You get the rain, you get the cool weather. And me being from South Louisiana, I get a lot of rain. So this is like, you know, I enjoy this, you know. It's cool and it's just a great atmosphere. I mean, being up here in the mountains, it's a different, it's a dis different uh, atmosphere and a different experience. And you know, I'm enjoying every minute of it. Early, do you do you get the the feeling with altitude? I mean, do, do you feel you, you got to suck in a little bit more air? Do you actually can you feel the difference training here at 7,000 feet than down at Tempe? Oh yeah, definitely. Like the first couple of days, it takes a little getting used to. But after that, you know, when you you're running and and playing and just just having fun. You know, you kind of really don't even worry about it. But like I said, it takes a couple of days to get used to it. Like when we had the conditioning test in, in here, mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of guys were a little winded just, you know, coming up here for the first time and then running that conditioning test. It was a little bit, you know, tough. But, you know, as the days went on, kind of got used to it. How about early on the conditioning test? How did you do? How did you feel on that one? Oh, I felt good. I was in, I was in real good shape. I mean, I, I made my times on both runs and you know I felt good I mean it was it was great I, I prepared for it well and, and passed my test and that was the that was the ultimate goal passing the test all right real quickly the uh, Cardinals wide receiver core it's a little bit different dynamic this year obviously how you feeling about it so far I feel good I feel like the guys have put in the work this offseason uh, mini camp OTAs the young guys are coming along they're they're far ahead mentally than you know most rookies would be I mean they're, they're, they're in their playbooks all the time they're asking questions taking notes and I think that's key for a young player because, you know, myself coming here as a rookie, you know, having Anquan and Larry to kind of help me and bring me along. And, you know, we just try to do the same. And it's like we're like a, you know, a, a tight knit group and everybody just pushes each other to get better. That's an interesting perspective and in having that the, the mentoring that you kind of are alluding to. Now, this year you've got a new quarterback that's going to be throwing most of the passes to you. Getting used to that must be a process as well for you guys at the wideouts. Well, not really, because like I said, Matt's been here in a system for five years, so we always got a chance to, to catch passes from him and work with him in practice. And, you know, this offseason, we put in a lot of extra work after practice, doing practice, and just getting that chemistry and making him feel as comfortable as possible, because as receivers, it's our job to catch the ball. So when he's out there, we want to make him as confident and as comfortable as possible and just, just make plays and, and, and have him flourish like we know he will. You ever think about being in broadcasting? You're pretty good with this. <laughs> I don't know. We'll never know. I, I mean, maybe when my playing career is over, I have to look into it.